Hello! Today we will review the new grease pencil features in Blender 3.4. Dante used to take care of this but he didn't have time and suggested it to me. Before we start please consider checking my Gumroad, there are some free and some paid files there and everything is connected to free tutorials on this channel. You can find the resources I will mention in this video in the top right or the description. Operators. We start with one improved and four new operators. One. SVG to Grease Pencil Import now supports importing multiple SVG files at once and the name of the SVG is used in the Grease Pencil object it is converted to. 2. A new outline operator converts strokes to perimeters or outlines. To use it, go to Edit Mode, select the stroke you want to convert, then do Stroke Outline. In the bottom left panel that appears, you can adjust the view since grease pencil strokes have 3D volume, flattening them will have a different result depending on the view it is done from. Material mode, you can use the same material, have a new material created or use the active material in the materials panel. But in this case you have to select it before doing the operation. If your material has a stroke, choose its thickness here. When enabled, Keep Shape will try to take the thickness into account to match the shape of the original stroke. 3. New Brush option converts strokes to outlines on the fly. To enable it, go to Stroke and tick Outline, then choose a material. The material you choose needs to exist in the Material Properties panel. If your material has a stroke, choose its thickness here. Now, every stroke you draw will be an outline instantly. This is good especially with fill materials to create closed filled shapes quickly, make your drawings flat without stroke volume, paint with a texture fill material as explained by Daniel Martinez Lara or do anything your creative mind may come up with. 4. Even closed grease pencil shapes have a starting point. Now you can choose it in edit mode. Select it then do stroke set start point. Now if we add the thickness modifier, add some thickness then enable custom curve, you can see the thickness starts low from our chosen point then goes higher. Choose another start point and the curve now starts at this new point. Setting start points helps a lot to fix interpolations that are not working as you expect. Put them in similar positions. Ctrl Shift E. Bingo. 5. Reprojection on surface has an option now that allows adding an offset between the projected stroke and the surface it's projected on. Tools. 1. A new radius gap closing mode was added to the fill tool. You select this mode under the advanced menu where the gap closure tools have now their own section. When you left click once to fill an area, pink circles will appear on the gap edges. You can change the circle size with the mouse wheel, the page down and page up keyboard buttons or the middle mouse button. When the algorithm thinks that the gap is closed, the circle is replaced by a blue line. Once you decide that the gaps are closed, you can left click a second time to apply your fill. The original lines mode is now named extend and the leak size setting was removed. This mode was also improved. Extend lines are clipped when they collide. An option was added to check when extend lines collide with strokes. When that happens, their color change from pink to blue and only blue lines will be used to contain the fill area. S on the keyboard allows toggling between extend and reduce modes. D enables or disables stroke collision check. These two shortcuts work after you left click the first time with the fill tool. You can also see in the status bar the mode, the size of the lines or circles and if stroke collision is on or off. Modifiers. A new outline modifier generates stroke outlines from camera view. The new chain mode in the time offset modifier allows adding and running consecutively multiple offset animations with different settings. I talk about the outline modifier in my long video dedicated to Blender modifiers and I have a dedicated video to the time offset chain mode. Objects under their line art settings that determine how they are used in the line art modifier have a new option to force intersection with other objects that have intersections disabled. 
For example, we disable intersections for this middle cube by changing usage to no intersection. Now we want it to intersect with the left cube, so we select the left cube and change usage to force intersection. Python AP It was already possible to trace an image or video to Grease Pencil by dragging it to the viewport and doing object convert trace image to Grease Pencil. Using Python, it's now possible to trace only selected frames from a video. This feature was requested by animation studios that use custom Python scripts to trace images. If you are good with Python, I guess you can make your own script. This is it for the new Grease Pencil goodies in Blender 3.4. Leave a like, subscribe and let's meet again in another video.